This is Joe Biden. On Tuesday, February 15th, 2022, Biden gave remarks at the National Association of Counties Legislative Conference. And this was notable because in the early 1970s, before he became a United States Senator, Biden held a seat on the County Council in Newcastle County, Delaware. And during his remarks, he went off script. I represented a middle-class district to a working-class district, but there was one very wealthy neighborhood. And I got a call one night. A woman said to me, obviously not of the same persuasion as I was politically, called me and said, there's a dead dog on my lawn. So Joe Biden says that the woman who called him was obviously not of the same political persuasion. How is it obvious? Because she lived in a wealthy neighborhood? Because she was being rude? Well, Biden never says. I said, have you called the county? He said, yes, they're not here. And I said, well, I'll get him in the morning. She said, I want it removed now. I pay your salary. <laughs> so I went over. So Joe Biden, fledgling local politician, went out of his way to help a woman that he didn't agree with politically, right? Right? I picked it up. She said, I want it out of my front yard. I put it on her doorstep. Wow, what an absolute mad lad. So to recap, Biden got a call from a woman who needed an animal carcass removed from her lawn. And since the supposedly rude woman wasn't a Democrat, he decided to be a jerk and placed a dead animal in front of her door. And if you think that's bad, check out the reaction to this story from the crowd of county executives. She said, I want it out of my front yard. I put it on her doorstep. <laughs> That reaction is indicative of so many local politicians and their real distaste for their constituents. Here's a fun experiment. Call up your county office holder and see how they feel about Biden's story. And if they laugh, vote them out of office. Anyway, back during the 2020 NACO Board of Directors Fall Board meeting, Newcastle County Executive Matt Meyer recalled when Joe Biden told the story about the animal carcass. However, there are some discrepancies. He tells me the story of a time a constituent called him one evening demanding a dead animal be removed from her street. We'll call animal control tomorrow, Joe told her. I want it gone tonight. Animal control is closed now, the frustrated constituent replied. And I voted for you, Joe. So in this version, Meyer recalls that Joe told him that the constituent voted for him. But in Biden's 2022 telling of the story, this was a woman who didn't agree with him politically. Joe called a friend with a pickup truck and got the animal out of the street that night. To him, Mr. Biden relayed to me, that woman was not a Republican or a Democrat. She was a constituent. A woman said to me, obviously not of the same persuasion as I was politically. And later during that same virtual meeting, Kamala Harris commented on that very inspiring story. That story about our president-elect and that pickup truck really does exemplify what you do every day. You are responsive every day to the people of your community. Hmm. I wonder what Kamala's reaction would have been if it was the version where Biden left a dog on the porch. <laughs> so Biden's story essentially went from him bragging to people that he went above and beyond to serve a constituent to yeah, I totally own that Republican rich bitch. No one tells Joe Biden what to do. There's a dead dog on my lawn. I want it out of my front yard. I put it on her doorstep. And we're so fortunate to have a president-elect who understands what it is like to stand in our shoes as county officials. Of course, there's another theory. Maybe, just maybe, these are in fact two completely different stories about two completely different incidents. One woman, the one who voted for Joe, got speedy carcass pickup, while a second woman who didn't vote for Joe got a special delivery on her doorstep. Or maybe neither happened. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time Joe Biden made shit up. Or maybe Matt Meyer embellished a little bit to make Biden look good, who knows? But since there is such a giant discrepancy in the two stories, I had to reach out via email to Newcastle County Executive Matt Meyer for answers. This was part of his response. We are proud of our most famous constituent, former county councilman, Joe Biden. And we appreciate the tremendous service he provided to Delawareans for decades, 
often literally at their doorstep. Maybe not the best choice of words, Matt. As I have repeatedly described to the National Association of Counties and elsewhere, and as President Biden described with great humor earlier this week. Oh, great humor, you say. Matt Meyer thinks that it's funny that Joe Biden joked about bullying a woman. But then again, she was rude to the future resident of the United States. Clearly, she was asking for it. Now, you may have noticed that County Executive Matt Meyer didn't answer my question. And to be fair, I never actually expected him to answer it. Because you see, Matt Meyer is considered to be a front runner to win the Democratic nomination for governor in 2024. If he chooses to run, of course. And calling Newcastle County's most famous constituent a liar might not help Meyer politically. But if Meyer can't be honest about something as insignificant as a Joe Biden tall tale, then odds are that he won't tell the truth about more important matters and allegations. So good luck, Matt. You're going to need it. Oh, who am I kidding? Delaware's a freaking cesspool. Congratulations, Governor Meyer. Anyway, that's it for now. A special thanks to Poofy for her help with this week's script. And as always, I hope to see you next time. If there is next time. <laughs>